What's going on, hey bros? Morning, evening, or afternoon, whichever time you view. You are the Hebrews now. The chosen elect of God. And how blessed are you if you zooming into this video? Oh yeah. I hope you know you the apple of God's eye. That's right, you. The God of the Hebrews. Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. Oh yeah, the one and only God. And the earth, uh, all the nations of the earth are jealous of you, envious you. That's why they hate us so much and stuff like that. They like seeing us in our low state uh, when we don't have the, 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 the knowledge of God. We don't have the life of God. Uh, we're in our sins. We're naked. And we're prey to them. And they just eating us up like bread. You know. Those are the fallen ones of us. You know. The ones that uh, have not yet acknowledged. Who they are. Have not yet acknowledged. Um, God's love. Which is Jesus Christ. And repented. And returned to him. Uh. They ought to know they need that forgiveness. At some point in their life, they got to uh, acknowledge that they need repentance. That they need to repent. And they need forgiveness from God. And Because uh, we do enough dirt, don't we? We do enough evil that uh, at some point we should be convicted of that evil that we're doing. And those are the ones who uh, become blessed and the Lord, those that trust in him. And uh, so we go on to get further enlightened, right? Because he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. He's a rewarder. So fasten your spiritual seatbelts. Get you something to eat. Get you something to drink. But if you fasten, hey, you know, that's what's up. Because fasting destroys the yoke. Y'all know that? Uh, what's that? Isaiah 58, 6. We might well start there, right? Because, uh, you know, we just following the Holy Ghost, y'all. We're going to roll. We're going to roll with it. We know it's going to be good because it's the Holy Ghost. And uh, the Holy Ghost uh, brings us every good and perfect gift, ain't that right? Come from God. Isaiah 58, 6. It says, Is not this the fast that I have chosen to loose? The bands of the wicked, of wickedness, right? And uh, to undo heavy burdens and to let the oppressed go free and that ye break every yoke. See that? Break every yoke. He said every yoke. That's the yoke of the devil too, man. The yoke of the enemy. The yoke of oppression. You know, we just read that. And to let the oppressed go free. Uh, the Holy Ghost does this. Right? Through our fasting and our prayers. Through fasting and prayer. Oh, there's more, more, more meat here. Let's, let's go and get some more meat. Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry? And that thou bring the poor that are cast out of thy house? When thou seest the naked, that thou cover him, and that thou hide not thyself from thy own flesh. Okay, now this is deep. There's a whole lot in there. It says, it's not this to deal thy bread, which is the scriptures. Right? Because the scriptures increase as we fast and pray and meditate day and night in the law. That's Joshua chapter 1. So they, they keep this book of the law in our mouth and in our heart, right? And we shall have success wheresoever we go. Because his word is a lamp unto our feet and light unto our pathway. So this is our bread that we give to the hungry. That's our people, the Hebrews, you know, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, right? And that thou bring the poor, that's, that's who they are, the poor and the needy. Uh, and they're in need of God. They're in need of the, the water of life. They're in need of salvation. They're in need of forgiveness. 
You know what I'm saying? They need God's mercy and grace and truth and righteousness and light that are cast out of thy house, you know, the house of the Lord. And when thou seest the naked, and they are naked, and they had uh, not the Lord Jesus as the cloak for their sins, that thou cover him, and thou hide not thyself from thy own flesh. That we use uh, man-made inventions. That's what alcohol is, drugs, you know. Uh, and we got to be careful. It can be caffeine. You know, and uh, I like a little caffeine here every now and then, but uh, uh, we don't want to be addicted. We don't be, we want to be hooked on those things. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thy health shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee, and the glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. Ain't that what we want? Right there. The glory of the Lord being our reward. Remember, it, man's uh, penalty was that uh, uh, Romans 3.22 3.23 was falling short of the glory of God. Falling short. And here just told us the glory of God would be our reward. You know? We were created for that glory, man. And outside that, that glory, that's where you see all that when we just read. That's where we are in our nakedness. We are oppressed. We are hungry. You see what I'm saying? All that we read. We, we, we got that yoke, those yokes on us. And those yokes are strongholds. Strongholds. A lot of people have a lot of triggers, man. Our people have mental breakdowns. Our people are feeble minded. Our people are destroyed, right? Because we're separated from our God. We fish out of water, man. You take a fish out of water right now. That thing going to flop, 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 looking for that air. That fish can't breathe outside of, of its law, as outside of its nature. So that's what we see with the Hebrews, man. That's what you see on the news and stuff like that. You know, your next door neighbor on your job. You see all these bugged out Hebrew Israelites, man. Who don't know that they Hebrew Israelites. And they got to get in the water, of Christ. You know what I'm talking about. They got a drink. That's your uh, 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 John, what is it? 737? John 7 37. Let's go on over there for a second. We're going to see where the Holy Ghost take us, man. Uh, in that day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried saying, if any man thirst, right there. Thirst, man. Let him come unto me and drink. Right? And he that believeth on me as the scripture has said. That's that's all deep right there, ain't it? We was talking about that book of the law, Joshua. That meditate day and night so we can have great success. He said, he that believeth on me as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers. There it is, of living waters. Right? And, uh... That's life. Life and light. Grace and glory. We were reading that earlier. The glory of God should be your reward. Your reward. You know, so no, our, our issues is uh, uh, not being married to him. And we covered that in many other videos. Y'all know that. Not being married to him is our issues. So a lot of people say they believe in God. A lot of people study, uh, a lot of people do this and that, but until you make that marriage covenant, you know, the, the shout out Mike, Mighty Great Lion, he's done a couple of videos on that, uh, exposing the the camps. Uh, in the last couple of videos he made, the camps was talking about uh, uh, they're not in the new covenant yet. They say the New Testament is not here, which is crazy because it's written. It's right there. You read it. I mean, they read it right there, and then they still say it's not there. That's that's crazy. That's that's insanity. That's what I'm saying. Our people are bugged out, man. That's really a mental breakdown. That you can read and look at that word Jesus that's written in the Bible, and you say another name other than Jesus. Let me tell you all something. 
Here's, here's your chunk of gold. Here's your chunk of gold. You're going to say, well, well, King Superman, uh, we already knew that. No, you're going to know it better today. And you can know something and then know it better. You know it greater. The only Hebrew name on the planet is Jesus. Let me say it again. I ain't stuttering. The only Hebrew name on the planet is Jesus. Okay, if you call your, yourself call yourself changing your name to a Hebrew name, then you call yourself Alibaba or whatever. Alibaba. We well, you know how they try to say, oh, this is my Hebrew name. No. There's only one name that's sanctified. There's only one name that's exalted. There's only one name that's glorified. And that name is J-E-F-U-M, Jesus Christ. That name was here before the world was formed, before he formed the mountains, before any creation. The name of Jesus was here, hidden in God. Ephesians 3, 9. You say, where is that at, King Shum? Ephesians 3, 9. John 12. Uh... John chapter 12, verse 24 through 31. Well, Jesus Christ said, If I be exalted, I will draw all men unto me. Philippians 2, right? Verse uh, 9 through 11. The name that's highly exalted. So the name, there's only one Hebrew name. We see that in Acts 26, verse 14. And Paul heard in the Hebrew tongue the name Jesus. Jesus. He told him, who out there, Lord? He said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. There's only one Hebrew name on the planet. Let's make that clear, saints. Let's make that clear, Hebrews. And guess what, Hebrew? You inherit the name Jesus Christ. Right? That's your inheritance. John, what is that, uh, 1722? Let's get that real quick. Let's go on over there and grab that real quick. John 17. And 22. Uh, there it is. And it says, And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them. These words in red, Hebrews. That they may be one. Look. Even as we are one. So you one in the Father and in the Son. That makes you the Christ. That makes you Jesus the Christ. That makes you the church. Right? That makes you the church of Jesus Christ. Because the church is in his name, right? I know y'all saying, King Superman, we know all this. Well, it's good to know it again. Know it know it deeper. Know it greater. Uh, what is that? Matthew 16 and 16. Let's go get it. And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ. Here we go. Yeah, here we go, y'all. Here we go, church. Here we go. Y'all the body of Christ, right? Y'all the Christ. Yeah, your head, your head is Jesus Christ, right? First Corinthians eleven three. Right? Your head, every, the head of every man is Christ. Right here. Peter said, Thou art the Christ, right? The Son, or we can say the church of the living God. The Son, or we can say the kingdom. Come on. The kingdom of the living God. Ain't this fun, y'all? So we can do this all day long. Right? The Christ, we can say the glory, when we're where Son is, we can say the glory of the living God. See, we can, we can, we can keep it going, can't we, can't we, class? See, y'all advanced class, y'all advanced. Special ed, special education. That's what this is about. Thou art the Christ, the kingdom, the glory, the church, right? The people, come on, y'all ain't think I was going to use that one? The people of the living God. Huh? The people is the body. The Hebrews. The Hebrews. The Israelites of the living God. Come on. We can, with the Jews. We can, we can go all day with that one. Right? And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood. The, come on. The first creation. Adam and Eve. Flesh and blood had not revealed it unto the old creation can't reveal God. Old creation cannot reveal God. That's the problem with the again the great mighty line exposing these camps. They talking about the new covenant is not here. If the new covenant is not here, that means you can never know God. Flesh and blood can't reveal. Flesh and blood is the first covenant. First covenant. 
is flesh and blood, Adam and Eve. That's the Adam and Eve covenant. Telling us we got to fulfill it by what? Acknowledgement. The first thing is acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. But I, we're here because I want to. Oh man. Getting tongue tied because several scriptures hit me all at once. You know. So that tongue tied me for a minute. So I'm on pause right there where we at. Because I said, uh, what did I say? Acknowledge. So let's go to 1 John 3. 22 acknowledgement we we said that earlier acknowledgement uh let's go to first john 2 22 first john 2 22 right yeah yeah that's it check this out it says who is a liar but he that denieth that jesus is the christ ain't then the same dude saying the new covenant is not here so we're telling you right there class who is a liar the camps the camps are liars. Jehovah Witnesses, they liars. Right? Mr. Farrakhan and the Muslim religion, liars. All religion, Roman Catholic Church, liars. Heathens, right? All who are not circumcised in their heart by Jesus Christ, Romans 15, 8. Because the circumcision brings you into the body of Christ. Circumcision uh, uh, is resurrection life. That's resurrection. Let's finish this. Who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ? Didn't we just read that in Matthew 16? Peter said, Thou art the Christ, the kingdom, the church, the glory, the favor, right, of the living God. Didn't we just read that? Jesus is the Christ. He is anti. Look, y'all. Look, class. Look what they are, class. You got to start saying this, class. These words that we read, they got to come out of your mouth, class. All these words are your blessing, your prosperity. Or your, you got to prophesy, class. All right? As you do that, you increase. That's why the more people you talk to, the better off you're going to be, class. Let's finish this. He is anti-Christ. That's what they are, class. Anti-Christ that deny of look. The Father and the Son, they Antichrist. Verse 23 is my drum roll. Wow, oh, you know, 22 was my drum roll too. But let's do some more drum roll then. Whosoever denying the Son, the same had not. The, the Son, that's the Christ. Jesus the Christ. Right? We, got, we just read, uh, I think we read it in John 7. What was it, 37, 38? Did we read 38? He that believe on me as the scripture that said, I have his belly shall flow rivers. The scripture say J-E-S-U-S. The only Hebrew name, class. There's only one Hebrew name. That name is Jesus Christ. That's That might be the title of this video, class. Whosoever deny it, look, class. The son, the Hebrew, the Hebrew Israelite of Judah. Right? The glory of Judah. Right? Hebrews 7, 14, right? He that deny him, right? The only Hebrew, we can say that because John 3, 18 say the only begotten son. This is advanced class. This is advanced class. Y'all better come on. Quit clowning, quit class. Y'all quit talking in the back, back there, class. Pay attention. Whosoever denieth the son, the same had not the father... If you deny this Hebrew right here, named Jesus Christ, you don't have the Father. Because the Father, right, the Father's glory is Jesus Christ. Now, we're going to take this a little higher, class. Y'all ready? Fashion seatbelts. Let's say that again. Whosoever denieth the Son, right, the Son of God, had not the Father... But the father, but oh, here it is. He, but he that acknowledged that's the word. Man, we were talking about acknowledging. You have to acknowledge with this book, man. You have to acknowledge that this every word proceeds out of the mouth of God, every word is inspired by God, right? Was that Second Timothy 3 16 17? All scripture given by inspiration of God. Do you acknowledge this? Remember, I kept talking to that one sheriff. I said, do you acknowledge that salvation for the Jews 
Do you acknowledge Jesus is a black? He would never acknowledge. Guess what? He's at a standstill. You ain't going nowhere. That's why the GMS camp was saying, well, we in between. They said we not in the new covenant. Well, you at a standstill. You can't go nowhere. You stuck in a rut. Now I'm saying like Dr. Seuss, huh? Right? You need them. Nah. Let's go and keep it moving. Whosoever denieth the Son, Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God, the church of the living God. That's, that's why I say, uh, oh, we're going to get there in a minute. We're going to get there in a minute. The same had not the Father. Oh, I love this. But he that acknowledged the Son had the Father also. Oh, that was tight. Oh, that was tight. It, it, was, a, it was a lot of meat in there. There's a lot of meat in there. What that means is he is the God of Jesus Christ. He is the Father of Jesus Christ. Did y'all catch that, class? He's the Father of Jesus Christ. What that mean, Claire? That means you are the Jesus Christ. you Jesus Christ today. And he's the Father of Jesus Christ. And that's why Jesus said, uh, well, let's walk you to it. Uh, which one? Which one? Let's go to Matthew. Let's go to Matthew 28. I don't know what's happening in class. I'm just following the Holy Ghost. Following the Holy Ghost. Matthew 28, 8. Let's go on over there. Uh, let's, uh, 9. Matthew 28, 9. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus, right? J S U S, the Christ, right? All right? The church, the kingdom of God, he all of that, right, church? Right, Hebrews? Met them. Jesus met them. And he's what? The, uh, uh, the, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, right? Isaiah 9, 6 through 8, right? See how powerful this, this name Jesus is? He's the only Hebrew on the planet today. Because this is the only name glorified. This is the only name sanctified. This is the only name exalted, class. This, this, this is the only Hebrew. Now we become Hebrews in him and through him and by him. Y'all catching this, class? And he is the church. So we the church called by his name. The church has always been called by his name. Like what, class? The God of Israel, right? The God of Israel... And the children of Israel. Is that not the old covenant? The God of Israel and the children of Israel. Now, new covenant would be what? The God of Jesus Christ and the church of Jesus Christ. Oh, there's your goal for the day, class. I ain't got to do more. I can close the video right now. <laughs> that was it, class. That was that was a that was a nuclear bomb. Old Testament, God of Israel, children of Israel. New Testament, God of Jesus Christ, right? Church of Jesus Christ, people of Jesus Christ. Come on now, church. We about to see it in just a second. Now they went to tell his disciples, Jesus met them, saying, All hell, and they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. Keep that in mind, class. They worshipped him. They worshipped Jesus Christ, right there, class. Then said Jesus unto them, Be not afraid, go tell my brethren, the twelve tribes, class. The twelve tribes, Leviticus 10, 6, the whole house of Israel called brethren. Right? Oh, that's in uh, Romans 9, 3 through 5. He came for Israel, uh, uh, the Israelites concerning the flesh. Right? Be not afraid, go tell my brethren that they go into Galilee, the high place, y'all. We got to go to the high place. Galilee is a high place. That's a high mountain. Right? And there, oh, 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 oh that's uh, the precept. I got to get that precept in just a second. That's, uh, I want the one in Romans 13, verse 2 and 3. Romans, um, excuse me, Isaiah 13, 2 and 3. Isaiah 13, 2 and 3. Let's finish this. Uh, go into Galilee, and there they shall see me. You, you got to go high, class. We got to go up high to see him. Because this is the exalted righteousness. And this is what the Father said. That's why he said, if I be lifted up, 
I will draw all men unto me. He's the exalted righteousness, right? He said, so only way we can see him, we got to go higher. We got to go up. You got to put off the grave clothes. Stop calling yourself black. Stop calling yourself nigger. Stop calling yourself African American. Right? And, and, and call yourself Hebrew. Call yourself Israelite. Because before you get the name Jesus, I mean, it's stepping stones now. Don't get it twisted. I mean, you got to grow into these shoes. Right? You got to grow into these shoes. Uh, now, let's get the other one, man. And John. Let's get the other one in John. I want you to see that, that they worship Jesus. They did worship Jesus now. And, uh, uh, which one we want, y'all? John, uh, 20 and, uh, I, I just went blank. Yeah. John 20 and, uh, y'all know we're we gonna, we're gonna find it, though. We're gonna find something. I got to get y'all something. Uh, John 20 and, uh, uh, oh, it's all good. That's what Google, for. If you get stuck, if you get stuck on the scripture, you can use Google. Uh, uh, if you get stuck, hey, sometimes that happens. Uh, like I said, our people be having mental breakdowns, and that's that's because they fish out of water, right? And uh, we got to get in the spirit. What's your water? The Holy Ghost. Remember that living water Jesus was talking about. Uh, he said, "Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living." That's your water. You got to get in. You know, uh, we swim in the spirit. We live in this this water uh, of the spirit, the Holy Ghost, man. Uh, and uh, it's all good. We gonna we gonna make something. Ah, I was just there. I, I was a couple of verses off, y'all. I was a couple of verses off. Sometimes that happens, y'all. You get thrown for a loop. Sometimes that's the Holy Ghost reroute you, all that stuff. And uh, like I said, our people is jacked up because we ain't we. That water is the law too. That's our law of nature. When we talk in laws, we talk in nature. Now the first covenant is the, the the nature of the flesh. That's that's what the first covenant is. We didn't cover that in several videos, so we couldn't get break through Jesus and and. and have a perfect life in um, without uh, the knowledge of God, you know, without uh, the tree of life, and so that's what that's what He intended to give us from Adam and Eve. Okay, from the beginning, He wanted to give us that tree of life. Okay, so Jesus Christ came to fulfill that uh, Himself becoming that tree of life. That's why He said, "Eat my flesh, drink my blood." He's the tr the tree of life. Okay, He's the tree of life. And, uh, um, but let's read this, uh, John twenty seventeen, and Jesus said to her, touch me not for I am not yet ascended, right? To my father, but go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend to my father and to your father and to my God and to your God, there it is. There it is. That's what I said. The Old Testament was the God of Israel. Come on, y'all don't, don't make me hit every scripture. The God of Israel. Y'all know he, he was called the God of Israel. He was known for being called the God of Israel. Right? And uh, we were known as what? The children of Israel. We still are children of Israel. But what? Get, but we uh, metamorphose now. We uh, ascend into our higher glory. Our higher self is the Christ life, right? That, and Peter said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Now he's the Father of Jesus Christ. Okay? He is the Father 
of Jesus Christ, which makes us the church. So we are the children of Jesus Christ. I hope I explained that right, Claire. Because this is, you know, this is a little real. I'm trying to shake it off. I'm trying to get with it, Claire. I normally uh, shake it off as we go. And I'm hoping I'm doing that. I'm hoping I'm being clear. Y'all can let me know in the comment board. Uh, that's pretty deep, though, huh? So uh, th that's what I'm saying. The camps can't get this. And uh, the world can't get this. Because, you know, the name Jesus Christ is hated. The name Jesus Christ is hated. So you're going to take on God's reproach now. Being called by his name means you got to take on his reproach. You know, his persecutions and all that. But you grow so much in the spirit, man. In that love, in God's love. You, we grow so much in his love. To the point where uh, when you come out of self, see? You come out of self and... Um, the offense is not as there as it once was when you was in the flesh. That's why uh, you see like somebody like Stephen being stoned. And he said, and as he was leaving the world, he said, lay not this sin to their charge. You know, the forgiveness is great. Jesus did that on the cross too, right? Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Because that's that. That's the law, right? To love your neighbor as you love yourself. To love God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, all your strength. This is Mark twelve twenty nine through thirty one. Also Matthew twenty two. What is it? Matthew twenty two. Let's go get that. This is fulfilling the law with that sacrifice love, and that's that's coming and becoming a real Hebrew, a real Jew. Um, uh, probably 34, 35, uh, real Hebrew, a real Jew, circumcision of the heart, right? Let's, we gonna get that. Matthew 22, 37. Uh, we just Bible study in the day class. Matthew 22, 37, and Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God, with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. Man, that's powerful. But you got to know who he is. To be able to do this, you got to know who he is, right? Right? And the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, and I hope that didn't throw nobody off. The Father is, is still Jesus. He's a, he, he just showing you his love. When you see Jesus, that's the Father's love. See, you can't love the Father until you see see his love. And his love is what? Manifested in the person of Jesus Christ. That's his glory. His glory is manifested in the person of Jesus Christ. His forgiveness is manifested in the person of Jesus Christ. Our help, our help is manifested in the person of Jesus Christ. It says, talks about it in a, in, in a different way. It's written in mystery form. For example, Psalms 107, 20, when it says he sent his word to heal them and to deliver them from their destructions. We can actually say he sent Jesus Christ to heal us and Jesus Christ to deliver us from our destructions. See, heaven and earth shall pass away, but God's word, the holy word of God, Jesus Christ shall stand forever. Jesus Christ and his name is the foundation of the earth and the world. He is the law of the land. He is the constitution of the United States. It points to Jesus Christ. Because he's the foundation of the, the earth and the world. Proverbs 10.25 tells us that. Proverbs, let's get it. Let's, let's go on and get it. Proverbs 10, 25. Let's get it. It says, and as a whirlwind passes, so is the wicked no more. But the righteous, that's Jesus Christ exalted, is an everlasting foundation. The righteous is an everlasting foundation. And that righteousness was exalted. In the person of Jesus Christ. Let's go on and get that in uh, Psalms. Uh, let's go with 71. Because really it's that whole chapter. 71. Let's start with verse 1. Psalm 71 verse 1. It says. Indeed, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. 
Deliver me in thy righteousness. Then I say he sent his word to heal them and deliver them from their destructions. That word is Jesus Christ made flesh. Revelations 19 verse 10 through 13. And his name is called the word of God. His name is is his righteousness his power is his name that Psalms 54 verse 1 save us by thy name judge us by thy strength Jesus Christ is the wisdom of God and the power of God ain't another God it's just we have to acknowledge. He that acknowledges the Son has the Father also. You've got to acknowledge the Son. The Son is what established everything. The Son. The Son is the Father. He's one and the same. But this is the glory of the Father. This is the glory of God. That He came into the earth to reveal Himself to the righteous. We reading it right now. Deliver me in thy righteousness and cause me, look, to escape. Escape what? Hell. Escape these mental breakdowns, being feeble-minded. Escape this corruption. Escape this body of death. Escape this prison house of the flesh. Escape the world and all these zombies, these reprobates. All these haters and liars, whoremongers and satanic children. Cause me to escape, Lord. Let your anointing destroy. That's why we got to fast and pray. We read there in Isaiah 58 to break every yoke. Clothe the naked and feed the hungry. Bring uh, uh, deliverance to the uh, captives. He anointed me to preach this gospel to the Hebrews. To those who will become Jews through Jesus Christ. Those who become Hebrews through Jesus Christ. Those who will become the church through Jesus Christ. Those who will become the sanctified through Jesus Christ. Those who will become holy through Jesus Christ. Those who... Acknowledge he's the only Hebrew name. Acts 26, 14 through 18. Acts 26, 14 through 18. He, Jesus Christ is the only Hebrew name on the planet today. There is no other Hebrew name. They say, well, I said before. The Bible itself is he. You can call the Bible Hebrew. The Bible's Hebrew. It is written in Hebrew. Hebrew is the blood of Jesus Christ. Hebrew is the finger of God. Hebrew is the Holy Ghost. Hebrew is is all inspiration of God. All scripture, right? All scripture was written by the Hebrew. Jesus Christ. So the scriptures is Hebrew. Y'all heard me in another video talking to a Jehovah Witness. He said, well, you got to understand. I said, the only reason... We call it English because they told us it was English. I said we could be speaking Hebrew and they tell us because they told us it was English. And the, what they call Hebrew might be what you call English. You understand what I'm saying? You, you who you going to listen to the world? Or we going to listen to God, the only Hebrew. The one that created Hebrews. We can't tell him what's Hebrew and what's not Hebrew. But if he told us Jesus' name is Hebrew, which he did, that's not there by accident. That's not there by coincidence. That's there <laughs> to tell you, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'm going to draw all men unto me. Didn't that same Jesus, that same light knock Paul off his ass? Saul, his name was Saul, but then it was changed to Paul. He said, who art thou, Lord? He said, I am Jesus. And Paul said that was the Hebrew tongue. 
Jesus! Don't be trying to, oh God, we got to break that in. We got to interpret it now. You're going to go off. Because you, you're going to go off because we don't have the power to comprehend God. We got to receive from God. God is an inheritance from the heart. Those that receive Him in the heart. Man, I got to get that. In the New Testament, I come back to Psalm 71. We got too much more meat there. Too much more meat in Psalm 71. We didn't even get to his name is very high. It's right there in Psalm 71. Very high. He's exalted. That his righteousness is, is very high. That's what he's saying. His righteousness. That means God cannot lie. That's what that means. God cannot lie. Let God be true. Every man a liar. That's I can go. We can say let God be a Hebrew, and everybody else uh, uh, on the outside, and to accept He opened the door and let you in. Right? Ain't that what John ten verse seven and verse nine says? Jesus said, "I'm the door. Any man enter in, that means come into me, sup with me, I with him. He shall be saved. Go in and out and find pastor. You got to live in Him, and He live in you." You got to be baptized in his name, filled with his Holy Ghost. And you become him, his new resurrection life. His new resurrection life. Because the old things are passed away. Right? He's the new Hebrew. He's the new Israelite. He's the new Jew. Right? He made all things new. With his name. The only one Hebrew is like Only one Hebrew name. So, okay. So, them camps is wasting their time. I don't care if it's millions of y'all. Tens and twenty millions of y'all. You wasting your time... Trying to say you can't got a Hebrew name. You ain't got no damn Hebrew name except it's Jesus Christ. And you come through the door of John 10, verse 7, verse 9. Except Jesus Christ abide in you and you abide in him. Through his death, burial, and resurrection. As you receive him as your new covenant. He write his laws in our heart and in our minds. That's nature. That's nature. You got to be born of his nature, his Hebrew nature, his Hebrew form, his Hebrew godliness. Have his Hebrew anointing. Only one Hebrew is a light. His name is Jesus Christ. And we are the body of Jesus Christ and we not separate from him. We are equal with him. We are one with him. Come on now, advanced class time to step up. Take them diapers off. Take them grave clothes off. Take that flesh off. The Bible tells us to put on the whole armor of light. Come on now. This is according to your faith, class. This is according to your faith. Time to wake up and step up. Don't be ashamed of who you are in Christ. Come on now. This is, this is, this is where we shine. It's time to shine. Bible said, rise and shine. Let your light so shine. Come on now. Hebrews. Jesus. You, Jesus the Christ. You that have his name, wear his name. What do you think 2 Chronicles is all about? We don't cover that. 2 Chronicles 7, 14. Let's get that. Oh, we go to the New Testament too. Don't trip. I'm coming. Second Chronicles 7 14. If my people which are called by my name <clears throat> shall humble themselves. That's what we got to do. Humble themselves. Camps, you got to humble yourselves. Jehovah Witnesses, Muslims, organized religion. He's sifting you. Jacob, out from him. Jacob, come on out of that mess. Police officers, sheriffs, 
politicians, you to think you got something in this old wicked, demonic world, you ain't got nothing. You really have nothing. I don't care how many degrees you got. I don't care how much money you got. You got nothing if it ain't Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the true silver and the true gold. Jesus Christ is all the resources. That's why he didn't need no place. It would say the foxes have holes, the birds have nests, the son of man had nowhere to lay his head. He had everything. He had everything. Everything. Everything belonged to him. But he didn't touch it in this demonic world. He didn't put he didn't claim it in this demonic world. He didn't put his name on nothing in this demonic world. But his people. Let's read it right now. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face. And we know that faith, if he got a face, he got to have a body. His face is Jesus Christ. We see that in 2 Corinthians 4, verse 6. The glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. And turn from their wicked ways. Pull that, come out that flesh. Them grave clothes. Come out that sin. Turn from your wicked ways. Get rid of that old Jeremiah 17, 9 heart. And get the heart of Jesus Christ. We read it. Love God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul. That's the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Ghost. Y'all better be fasting and praying for the Holy We started out with that. Isaiah 58. Fast and pray for the Holy Ghost. To fill you up with his what? His love. With his salvation. That's the only way you're going to see God's face is through the Holy Ghost. 1 Corinthians 12, 3. No man can say Jesus is Lord, but by the Holy Ghost. You can't see his glory, but by the Holy Ghost. That's why Stephen, again, let's bring him up again, was being stoned by the wicked. He can look up, and he's seen Jesus. He's seen the glory of God. Where? In the face of Jesus Christ. It just told us the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. And he said, Lord Jesus, he called on God, saying, Lord Jesus, he didn't call on two gods. He said, called on God, the Bible says, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. He going to receive his spirit. Why? Because he's full of the Holy Ghost. The Bible says Stephen was full of the Holy Ghost. That's all he needed. That means God's name was upon him. God can't deny itself. The Holy Ghost is God himself. Let me say it again. The Holy Ghost is God himself. And God cannot deny himself. God is the only Hebrew on the planet today. The only Hebrew Israelite is Jesus Christ. Oh, you inherit his life. You, you, you inherit his name. Let's finish reading it out. Let's finish reading. If my people which are called by my name, Jesus Christ, shall humble themselves and pray, seek my face, Jesus Christ, turn from their wicked ways through the blood of Jesus Christ, then will I hear from heaven. Didn't Paul hear his voice from heaven? Say, who art thou, Lord? Is that Jesus Christ, whom thou persecutest, Paul? Saul, y'all know what I'm saying. Saul's name was changed to Paul. And will forgive their sin. Then Jesus come and forgive sin. And will heal their land. Bring us back to Zion. Oh, that's in uh, Numbers. Let's go to Numbers and get that. What we just read. Numbers 6, 27. Numbers 6, 27. Let's start with 23. Here's how much he loved shit in Israel. Numbers 6, 23. Speak unto Aaron. And his son saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. Children of Israel, the Lord bless you and keep you. Y'all watching this video, the Lord Jesus, the black Messiah, bless you and keep you. The more the Lord make his face look to shine upon thee the glory, his glory. Second Corinthians 4 6. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. 
you who watching this video, let his face shine upon you. And the Lord be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Don't you want this daily for the rest of your life? This is his salvation. This is his salvation. Watch this. And they shall put my name, J-E-S-U-S, God of Israel, Old Covenant, God of Israel, Children of Israel, New Covenant, God of Jesus Christ, Children of Jesus Christ. Put my name upon the children of Israel. There it is. And I will bless them. Right? The God of Israel. Oh, we ain't done. Let's, 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 get, let's get some more. Let's get some more. I told you to bring them appetites. I told you to bring them appetites when you come to these videos. Because we're going to fatten like a, like a, like one of them old holy grandmas. We're going to, you come to her house. And they just keep feeding you, right? 